Before we get started with this video, make sure you guys are subscribed. And if you are subscribed, make sure you tap that bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for the support, and enjoy the video. What's up guys, 360 Beyblade here, and today we have another Beyblade vs. Sparking unboxing. And today we will be unboxing the bay that came after Mirage Fafnir, Rage Longinus. So this is the latest and greatest Longinus, owned by Louis Shirosagi. It is not owned by Loden, who had Zvi, Zvi or Zwi Longinus. But Louis's back, so yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. So this is a left spinning attack type, and from what I've seen from other bay tubers, this bay is incredibly heavy and really hard hitting. So let's go over the parts real quick. So the parts, you guys can pretty much see them. It is the Longinish, it's Rage Longinus with the Longinish chip and core, the Rage Ring, a new part called the 3A Chassis, and the Destroy Dash Driver. Don't have Destroy Dash, but it's actually one of the best um, attacking drivers for some people, so cool to get that Destroy Dash. So yeah. That's pretty much it for the parts, and now let's get right into opening this thing up. So here we go, we got the parts laid out and all the stickers put on, starting with the driver. We got this destroy dash. This free spinning plate on it is supposed to help with, you know, regaining your upright position and go back on the attack. And with the dash spring, it is actually really tight. I can see why some people would say this is the best attack driver out there. Next we have the chip. Which, the core is pretty much the same as every other Legend Bay, except for Hyperion, Helios, and Variant Lucifer. And the only real difference between the chips is it's more like Brave's chip, where a small little smidge of plastic is removed from both sides. I'm thinking it's because of how strong this bay is, so if they gave it the entire length, it would probably just be way too OP like Brave was. Now we have the main two parts, starting with the Rage Ring. Now, comparing it to Zwei, Zwei's layer base definitely has way more metal on it than this ring does, but I think that is made up for with how much metal is on this chassis. So, pretty much the same design, only a little less metal, so it's obviously going to hit pretty hard. And then we have the 3A chassis now this is the third three attack chassis and it is i think it's the first ever um double chassis that is for only left spin bays because this is actually just a left spin chassis and you guys can see just how much metal is on it and then to it's it's four stars so i believe the stars mean how heavy it is so i think this is the heaviest version of the 3a chassis at least that's what i think but regardless, now let's go and put this bay together. Alright, checking the teeth. So now I put it in right. Put it right the other way. Yep, so very tight and definitely very bulky. So that does it for all the parts, and I guess we can try a few test battles with this thing, so let's get right into those test battles. Okay, so actually, after doing a few test battles off screen, uh, this bay was actually damaging some of our older bays, and even some of our newer ones, so 
I think we're just going to do a test spin and then call it. Sorry about that, but we don't really need to be breaking bays. So obviously, as you guys can see, this bay is incredibly heavy. Not as fast with the destroy dash driver as other drivers, but it was still fast enough to actually move the stadium a little bit. So, yeah. Normally we would then go into a test battle with this thing, but I really don't need to be breaking any bays, so I don't know if you, you guys probably won't like that, but I don't really need to be breaking any bays right now, so that is going to do it. So that is going to do it for this Rage Longinus unboxing. Again, really sorry that I couldn't do any test battles. It's just, uh, if this bay is already so strong that it could actually break other bays, I don't know. If you pick this up, definitely, um, know how to control it. And if you guys have any Hasbro bays, definitely don't put this up against Hasbro bays. Those will probably just get broken into pieces by Rage. But... That's going to do it for this video. Remember, if you guys enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like, share this video with your friends, comment, and definitely subscribe so I can keep doing this awesome Beyblade content. Hopefully, I have a few more unboxings in the future. I think we have another unboxing coming soon. Don't quote me on that, but I think we do. And yeah, that's going to do it for now. And until next time, I'm 360 Beyblade, and I'll see you guys in my next video.